Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's... Crane. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that... that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for... I'll miss worrying about pageantry. you. I'll miss our and fights. And most of all, 
I'll and miss you. How Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around. Now you will never die from indifference or lead a never tedious Lily, life. But from Goodbye, sweetheart. What I've been told, Thanks for I everything. Know in my heart, Vivian. She would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. You were Thank a you. big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already. Grin. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Holly, Big B's trying in, in his own way, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? 
Nerissa. Yeah, um, coming. Constable. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead haul. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. 
and try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. They're titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. So what if I do? You think we're broken or something? Is that it? I don't know. Maybe we're just not cut out for this world. We can't eat each other's hearts anymore, Bigby. This can't be like the old days. We have to make it better. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. 
smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Cole was around. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but- This isn't your concern. I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. It's okay. We can all work together, right? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect, and I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Can you what? Can I just, I don't know, wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> <laughs> what do I care? We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. 
Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. To the dead. All right, now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. 
Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but... Yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To look for clues? Um, if you want to put it that way. Be honest, Sheriff. 
Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Hey, did you know that the woodsman was sleeping with Lily? Like a, what, a customer? Yeah. Okay, is this really important right now? I guess not. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. I'll head over to Crane's apartment, see what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. <laughs>